we are on the eve of last epoch 1.0 dropping and i'm getting inundated with questions about whether or not people should purchase the game and although that's a personal decision i'd like to create this video for two reasons number one to give you just a very quick overview of what you can expect if you purchase the game which in my opinion you should purchase it this is going to be a very good arpg and it's already a good game and i believe with 11 with 11th hour games it's only going to get better and better as they add cycles and we go through every new cycle and the improvements but not only do i want to share and give you a quick overview of last epoch 1.0 but also, at the end, I'm going to share with you the class that I'm going to be rocking for 1.0 on launch day. So, should you purchase Last Epoch and what you can expect? First of all, if you go on the Last Epoch website, there are three options or three editions that you can purchase if you don't already own the game. And there's a standard edition all the way to the ultimate edition. Now, this is in Canadian dollars because I live in Canada. So this obviously will change according to whatever country you live in. But you can expect anywhere from $35 to $65. That's in Canadian dollars, like I said. And you can just go on the purchase tab and it'll show the editions and basically all the little things that you get with it. Um, so it's very quick. And of course, for the PC players, this is going to be on Steam. And you just have to download, purchase the game, download it on Steam, and you're good to go. So that's basically the three versions that are available for 1.0. Now, if you've never seen Last Epoch and you don't know what it's about, basically on February 21st, Last Epoch is going leaving early access and entering full access mode. Uh, this is their very first cycle. And for those of you that don't know, um, a cycle is like in Diablo 4, they call them seasons. And in Path of Exiles, they call them leagues. So in Last Epoch, it's referred to as a cycle. Uh, so we will get cycles every so often, which will come with enhancements in the game, new mechanics, etc., etc. 1.0 brings the following enhancements to the game, and there are many. I've already done a video on the 1.0 patch notes, so you can go on my playlist and look for a deep dive there. But I'm very going to just hover over just the main topics if you're exploring uh, purchasing 1.0 so basically last epoch has five classes and each class has three masteries um, so when it comes to amount of choice you have with play style and classes last epoch delivered it delivers it in spades and they're introducing two new masteries in the 1.0 drop on February 21st. And that is in the Acolyte class. And they're introducing the new mastery Warlock. And for the Rogue class, they're introducing the Falconer mastery. So those are two new masteries that are being added to the game in 1.0. But basically... You have a lot of choice when it comes to play style in Last Epoch. There are over 120 skills. So you can choose your own path and how you want to build your class. I have to say, if people are concerned about the difficulty of this game or where this stands, and there's always three games in this genre that can get compared to each other, and that's Diablo 4. Path of Exile, and now Last Epoch. And you'll hear the majority of the people that talk about Last Epoch, they put it in the middle of those two games. And what I mean by that is the level of difficulty when it comes to understanding the game and being able to customize your characters and understanding the skill progression, the, the, the items and the gear. 
So it's not as complicated as Path of Exile, and it's not as simple as Diablo 4. It sits in the middle. So it's a very, uh, very engaging game. It allows you to, like I said, customize your classes and your characters, and it's not overly complicated. And I have to say, having played a lot of Last Epoch in the last couple of weeks, I like even from the get-go, the campaign is very rewarding and a lot of fun. And I have to say their crafting system is itemization in the game. It just hits all the marks. Um, the game taught the game is about us journey journeying through time. And like I mentioned earlier, there's the looting and crafting in this game is unbelievable. And like I said, it's not overly complicated. You don't have to sink thousands of hours in this game in order to understand loot and crafting. And in reference to looting, they have amazing loot filters, very simple to understand. You can create your own loot filter. And believe me, it's very easy. And when you go into the game, you'll see what I mean. You can create your own loot filter. It's all just drop down menus and you can select what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Very, very easy to understand. But if you're not one that wants to go over that and don't have a lot of time or you just don't know what you want and you're following a build guide, the majority of build guides already come with loot filters and it literally is control C and control V into the game. It is that simple. You just click copy and copy and paste and you're good to go. The end game is a lot of replayability, a lot of continuous evolution. As the website says, it's, it's about, uh, the monolith system and there's dungeons. There's a lot of end game stuff. Um, so you definitely will be able to sink your teeth into this game. And as it says here, it's the ultimate action RPG. It has challenging modes. It has multiplayer. It has cycles. Like I said, cycles are like seasons and uh, leagues in other games. And they do have a leaderboard for each cycle. Um, so for, I know a lot of players that is very important. They like the racing aspect of leaderboards and to see how their build, their class compares to the rest of the world or their friends, et cetera, et cetera. The other thing that I want to mention in reference to what is coming in 1.0 is there's a couple of things that are really like unbelievable what they're doing. And one of them is the faction system, the, the trading system. They're introducing a new economy and there's basically two factions that you can choose to join. One is a faction where you want to buy and sell items in the market. And there's a ranking system. There's favors that you earn in that faction. And as you rank up, you get more perks, more rewards when it comes to trading and, and buying in the game. And then there's also another faction that addresses players that typically play by themselves, you know, the solo self found kind of players, and they don't want to buy stuff. They want to only wear gear and weapons that they earn, that they craft. Um, so there's another faction for that. And it's the same mentality. There's a ranking system. So as you rank up in that faction, the quality of the drops increases, the quantity of the drops increases as you rank up. And again, there's uh, you earn favor uh, in the game and that helps you with buying and selling, ranking up, et cetera, et cetera. And you do that by playing the game. Um, so that is really unbelievable what they did. A lot of people are excited about that and it's going to be very interesting uh, to see how it pans out. Now, the game launches on February 21st. I got to say, there's going to be a lot of people playing this game. There's been a lot of hype around this game. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they manage launch day and whether the servers can handle 
the amount of people that I suspect are going to be playing Last Epoch 1.0. But again, only time will tell. So that is a very quick overview of what you can expect if you're thinking about buying Last Epoch. Um, and, and really, when you think about it, the base game is $35, which in today's world is, I would say, below average when it comes to the average price of a video game. So I think you're going to get your money's worth here. Uh, but that's my opinion. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. Okay, let's get into what I am going to be playing in Last Epoch 1.0. Now, I put a lot of time and thought into what class I'm going to play when 1.0 launches. And let me tell you, I've flipped and flopped probably 20 times since I was aware that 1.0 was going to be dropping on February 21st. And when I heard about the two new masteries, the Warlock and the Falconer being implemented with the 1.0 drop, I, I, it piqued my curiosity. And obviously I, I did a lot of research and having played other classes that I really fell in love with, it was a very difficult decision. There are a all the five classes are viable. All the masteries are viable. Yes, there's S tiers, A, A tiers, and B tiers, depending on whether whatever you're doing in the game. Now, for me personally, I will be playing hardcore when 1.0 drops. Uh, I love playing hardcore, so I will be playing hardcore. So obviously that factored into my decision. And... After all of the reviews, after looking everything and and really playing, the most important thing to me is what do I enjoy playing? Yes, obviously I'm playing hardcore, so I want something that's viable, but having fun is more important than being viable because at the end of the day, if I die, I die, whatever. And in Last Epoch with hardcore, when your hardcore character dies, it just moves over to the softcore cycle. And really uh the only thing you don't get is you don't have access to your hardcore stash anymore uh so without further ado and with that in mind i chose to pick the warlock mastery i just love how it looks on screen it i believe is going to be very fun to play and i just want to show you just a very quick display of what it, it just is i think this is gonna look really good and and i'll be streaming this when 1.0 launch drops on february 21st i will not be obviously streaming it when it launches because it's midday uh, but i will be streaming the evening of february 21st and it's going to be a very long and good stream. We'll see how far I get. But I'm going, I chose the Warlock and uh, I'm going to do the the Bleed Warlock. It just looks like a lot of fun. Something that I think I'm really going to enjoy. And hopefully it's going to give me the tools and the skills to survive hardcore mode. Hardcore mode. Now, regarding hardcore and, and actually, even softcore, it has been stated over and over with a lot of people that I talk to that are very close to the game that one of the enhancements, and there's a ton of enhancements made in 1.0, but one of them is that the campaign is been amped up from a difficulty level, like really amped up. So the rumor around town from very reliable sources was told to me that <laughs> be careful, hardcore mode is going to be very difficult because the campaign itself has been amped up, actually the whole game. Um, so I got to tell you, when I started getting this information, I kind of was like, oh, should I be playing hardcore? Like, I don't know. But you know what? I love a challenge. And to be honest with you, it, it even made me more excited that the fact that I'll be playing hardcore. So keep that in mind when you're watching me. If you come and join my streams and you see me dying over and over and over again. Anyway, 
just wanted to let you know, even for softcore, don't sweat it, guys. If you keep dying and dying, they have amped up the level of difficulty in the campaign. So FYI. Anyway, Bleed Warlock. Sammy Caps is going to be playing Warlock come 1.0. I can't tell you how friggin' excited I am. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Just wanted to do a quick should you buy and what my starter is going to be for 1.0. Let me know in the comments if you're playing 1.0. Have you got the game? If you haven't gotten the game, why haven't you gotten the game? What would make you change your mind? I want to hear it all. What do you think? And clearly, we're going to keep our eye out on how launch day goes. It's going to be very interesting to see. So let me know your comments. Get in there. We have a lot of great debates in my comment sections on my videos. So I would appreciate you jumping in there and get part of the conversation. Anyway, as always, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And we'll hope to see you next time. And more importantly, see you in Atera. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.